Okay, and welcome back. So, in our last tutorial, we created this room, and we also put it into our level. So, in this tutorial, we are now going to look at texturing it, and placing our player into the level, building our level, and preparing to run it, so we can see how it looks. So, let's begin. First thing we need to do, pull up our level. Now, what you see here is basically um, a rendered view. We can change that by going into View, 3D View, and set that to flat and shaded. There we go. So that might be a little bit easier to see where you're, um, where you're grabbing, but as you can see, it's very simple. You just grab over here and right here. So we have both opposite sides. We don't select any more than that. We need to then go to generate a mapping and we're going to make a two sided mapping. Oh, sorry, not two sided. We're going to make a six sided mapping. And I believe that that is the right side. So let's find out. So we click OK. Manage skins. Oh, of course. New skin. Set skin. Alright, so there's our skin. So we created the wrong side. So we're going to create a front. And you can see here that we now have a front view of our um, room and we'll create a back and that will place another one uh, right on top of it so now that we have this let me just fix this because I just realized that you can't see all of that sorry about that okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this set this to lock this way and we're gonna well, I guess we can't break it right in half, so what we're going to do is we're going to do that, detach, and we're going to slide them this way. And we're going to do the same thing, and detach, and we're going to bring it this way. And for a reference, um, I'm going to go to the skin settings. We're going to reference just a random, there we go, it doesn't even need, just select texture. This way we can see our boundaries. So now we're going to select this, paste this in here. Don't worry about making it perfect just yet. We'll do that in a second. Now there might be an easier way to do this, and you might have a different program that you can do all this with as long as you can import it with this model editor uh, you're good to go but for the sake of this tutorial series I will be using the model editor that comes with 3D Game Studio so that people who don't have access to the higher end model editors can actually see how um, this can be done using MED or model editor okay so there now that whole side is now right there. We have this whole front side and that whole back side. So now we need to get the rest of them. So now we're going to select this one and this one. I'm holding control while I do this, by the way. I'm sorry I didn't mention that earlier. We're going to get the right side and the left side. This one is going to have a little bit more of a condensed um, set of polygons. Um, each one of these little triangles is called a polygon. Uh, any model is created, ever, not any, but every model is created of polygons, um, regardless of their shape. It's just that because of the triangle uh, shape itself, it's able to look and create all sorts of different shapes. So any video game 
in, in any video game that you look at, you'll notice that they're actually using triangles. They just are very good at disguising certain things so that we don't notice that. And that's the whole trick of making video games, is making it look as good as possible and using as little polygons as possible. And that's where normal maps come in. And we're going to look at normal maps a little bit later. Um, actually, I'm sorry, but um, that will be in a different series of tutorials because uh, you don't have access to shaders with the free version. So we won't be using normal maps in these um, in this series. However, if you do own a copy that isn't um, the free edition, then look for that on my channel eventually. So anyway, back to the tutorial. So we've created that side. Now we need to whoops create a top. And that doesn't mean that you know we can't make an awesome looking game without a normal map. It just takes extra extra cunning. And if you can do that, well, then that just means you're really, um, really artistic. The more artistic you are, the better. The more creative you are, the better. But I think that's obvious. Okay, so we're almost done. You know what? I just realized something. Um, let me just see here. Will it let me do this? Otherwise, because we're making a floor. All right, cool. So you see how I did that? I selected the floor and I was able to drag it off because I accidentally combined the ceiling with the floor and we don't want them to have the same texture. So there, now we need to take this, chop that up, take this, chop that up. And yes, this is a very long process, but anything that is worth doing does take time. Okay, so now we have all of our sides. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into vertex mode, so you click on this, so now we're going to select the vertexes and this will weld them all together so that none of them are loosely, um, so that they're all nicely square. That's a better way of saying it. Okay, I've only got two more minutes to do this. So I'm just going to pause this. Okay, so I got them all welded together now and we're going to import an image that I'm going to create really quickly and it will be in the resources folder. One more thing is you can combine these together because they are all the same wall and I'm going to be giving them all the same texture. Now if you want to be a bit more creative seeing as how um, you know how to do this now uh, you're more than welcome to be more creative but this is what I will do to save some time. Okay, so in the resources folder, you're going to find under skins, room one. Go back to the projects folder, which is right here. And doesn't matter where you place it, you can place it in the same folder. Um, Actually, you know what? Let's do it this way. Um, create a new folder. Call it skins. And it looks like I'm going to have to make a second tutorial or continue making a part B of this. So, place that in your skins folder. Import a skin image. Make sure you're in the right folder. And in the next tutorial, we're going to make this uh, fit. 